hey, it's Luke. So I discovered this amazing reverb trick and I just had to share with somebody. So this won't be a long video. I just wanted to give you an idea of what uh, what I just um, played around with. And it just, it sounds amazing. So what it is, is I'm taking the pre-delay and I'm, I'm basically taking the reverb. And instead of, if you have a clap and usually, you know, they're in a large room, um, it'll reverberate. You know, you'll, you'll hear the clap and then it'll just sound like a big clap. But um, what I wanted to do is actually move the reverb over one beat later. So basically what uh, what I'm doing is um, you'll hear, let's say, the clap. And then there's going to be a pause. And then the reverb for that clap comes in after it. It's sort of tough to explain, but here you can uh, have a listen to it. OK, this is the sound that I want to use. It actually no. Here, let's just take out the kickstart. Thing. It's just a very normal delayed pluck. We could take the reverb out, or the delay out. It it wouldn't matter. It's just um, it's a plucky sound, and that's what you want. Is a sound that that plays and then stops. You don't want like a pad or something. I I don't know. It might work on a pad <laughs> on a pad, but um, you'll want a sound that's that's short, and then there's a little pause in it, and then the reverb because this is what we're gonna hear. So we do this, and then once we hit the reverb, we, we hit it with the reverb, what you'd normally have would actually be something like this, right? So it sounds big. But what I'm doing here is, um, yeah, I'm delaying the reverb sound. So what we're hearing is this instead. So you hear how you've, so you hear the original sound, a little pause, and then and then it, it comes in, um, which sounds interesting. You can't really, you know, you might not be seeing the use for it yet. But once we put that to a beat, that's where we hear it. So let's let's listen to that now. Actually, I I have a little bit of a a melody in the beat, so I'll do it without the reverb at first, and. Uh, Well, it sounds nice or whatever, but then as soon as I add the reverb and listen to when the reverb hits and you'll notice that it's, it's, it's on the next beat. Um, and then the sound comes back in and on the next beat again. So it's already more interesting. I'll turn it on and off. I find it gives it a really nice sound because it's like the the sound from the reverb is a different sound, but because it's based on that original sound, it's sort of like a a second sound, but that blends in really well because it's it's based on the the exact same same sound. Um, and I've been, you know the mix is relatively high here. Um, we can play with that a little bit and just have a a little bit or have it almost full, but. I like it around around there but then once we add the um just a, a side chain just to give it a little pumping effect and this is where you can really notice the difference once once i remove the the reverb you can really tell there's that second sound that's just like popping out and just wants to wants to hit anyways it's um and and this won't work on just any reverb. You need to have this uh, the adjustable pre delay. Um, there's you know there's a few that I was looking at uh, that I had. I wanted to try this with with a different reverb, and uh, it wasn't really adjustable. Oh yeah, and the the formula um, to figure out because you want it timed exactly right. So the formula is actually really really simple. So you just go to the calculator here. Basically, you're looking a minute has sixty thousand milliseconds. So uh, Obviously, millisecond is a, a thousand milliseconds in a second. Um, so we're taking a minute here, and then we're dividing it by the beats per minute. So in this case, um, I'm using 122 beats per minute. I can tell up here. So we're going to do divided by 122 equals. Oh, actually, sorry, I hit I hit that twice. So 60,000 divided by 122 because we're looking at 122 beats per minute equals 
491, 492. Um, and this doesn't need to be exact. So as you can tell here, I've got it at 490. This one just jumps in, a, you know, 10 milliseconds at a time, but it, it won't make a difference. Even if we, you know, if we hit 500, we'd be, 530 even, we'd be, we'd be, you know, it's the same thing. So you want something close. Um, you can get some, some charts uh, online if you search uh, MS to BPM chart. Um, it'll give you a, a list of the BPMs and then you can just go down and, and uh, choose which one. But the you know, calculator is so much easier. So it, it'll work with whatever you, uh, you want to adjust it at. And I actually haven't listened, but um, if you're doing hip hop or something like that, um, let's say we go down to 85 BPM. So we're doing 60,000 divided by 85. So we're looking here at 705. And uh, so we're going to go up to 705. And of course, you can double these numbers if you if you wanted to come in a little bit later or whatever. But um, let's say 710. Yeah, it won't work as much with this kick with this kick kick drum. But you can tell if we were, you can really tell it's really nice. And even if we if we remove the the kick drum you can tell this just sounds just sounds beautiful and rich and there's definitely stuff you could do with this and you know you could take this and then bring it back into simpler all right so i was i thought i was done with this video but i added a a quick beat just from uh, u jam dope uh a drum plugin i wanted to see what it sounded like uh with a, a hip-hop beat behind it and just the sound of the synth is beautiful. I ended up shortening this here a little bit. I think we were over here earlier or something. Um, something here like this just gives it a nice little, without it, it actually sounds really nice without it as well. This gives it a little bit more of a, a, a groove type of pump effect, but, um, so yeah, basically, um, this effect, this reverb effect can work in all kinds of different styles of music. So hopefully you can do something really cool with it.